हे गाइस वेलकम बैक सो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग आवर रियाज ई कॉमर्स सीरीज एंड नाउ गाइस वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ चेकआउट पेज सो गाइस व्हेन वी क्लिक ऑन दिस चेकआउट इट विल गो टू चेकआउट एंड वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ पेज एंड डिजाइन द फॉर्म फॉर द चेकआउट एंड फिच द फ्यू डिटेल्स ऑफ आवर कार्ट आइटम्स सो गाइस लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट्स गो टू आवर रिएक्ट एप्लीकेशन सो गाइस लेट्स मूव टू आवर राउट सो दिस इज आवर पब्लिक राउट where we have to create a route with the name checkout so checkout where the name will be checkout make it capital c copy and paste for this checkout import checkout from the same path so let's paste that and the form name we have a spelling mistake form checkout and let's copy this checkout and create a file guys so let's move to front end so inside front end i want the checkout file checkout.js done so guys let's copy from our cart page itself so paste close the function export default the checkout create this done and now you can see guys it's linked correctly and yep let's uh, return open and close bracket where we are going to design with the form guys first but let us check the output let's tell i am checkout so let's go click on this checkout perfect i am checkout let's go to cart.js file and copy the design guys so let's move below okay so let's copy till here the space that and we have to end the div this is one column second column third and fourth column done and inside this 12 we are seven we'll make it and here you are going to start with the card body design guys okay so let me just design and show you so guys this is the card header card body and my card let me just divide this little bit and inside this card body we have to design our form so let's begin with designing the form where i want to create opposite opposite so let's divide that by column first align the row okay open div where you will tell class name is equal to column md6 and inside this the div where again class name you will give and tell the form group and the label where we don't require for just remove that we'll tell first name and then input field so input the type and finish with the give a class name where you'll tell form hyphen control guys over here and make this to text name will be first name okay that's it so now let me just show you the output first perfect guys so instead of card we have to make it check out let's make this to check out and now we have to copy this and paste okay where you will tell this as last name so guys let me just design and finish this and i will show you the output so guys i have just now completed and here is one phone email address full address city state zip code and one simple button guys okay so let's see the output for this over here and let's make this full address full address to full width so where is that full address here it is from column md6 to i'll make it to 12 yep 
now it's looking fine and now guys let us get the card data uh, beside this so we can see the card whatever the items we are checking out so it's very simple let me just fold this over here okay column d7 open div close div where you will tell class name is equal to column md5 and inside this we are going to start with the table table head table row where table heading table heading where we will tell product and the price quantity and total okay we will set this width that will be 50 percentage okay and table body so table row and inside this table row we have to get the data guys like table data your some product the price is like 200 quantity is 2 and your total will be 400 something like this okay let's see output okay let's use the bootstrap class name table table hyphen bordered perfect okay so now let's get the original data of the cart you can go back to our cart.js where first you have to copy the use effect fully and paste so over here you are getting the cart data and setting the cart loading the cart and history and all all things we are using so let's get that yep let's take all this paste it we need to check the page is logged in or not okay our user is logged in or not so you can set this also okay I'm using after this history because if we put off first only it will throw an error so yep let's minimize this get back to cart and next step we have to copy this loading so we just need to load loading checkout okay because we are using loading we have to get the data so until and let's it gets the data it should show loading checkout after that guys we need to get the looping data so let's copy this get back to checkout and over here let's paste that and we need to close we can just go back copy that closing tags copy and paste done so return this cart is fetched over here okay all set and this total price we want to show that total price we are calculating over here with this help of variable we will show the grand total so inside this table row only we'll create one more table row table data grand total and one more table data open and close calibrate paste that let's use call span capital s is equal to two copy this because we are showing this in a four right so this is four columns i want this two column to be covered by grand total and left out this two total okay and give a class guys over here to text end copy this paste so now 
we need to get the item item dot product dot your product name okay and then item dot product dot the selling price and then quantity guys item dot the card table quantity and then finally we have to do the calculation for this we have already done let me just copy that so price and your quantity should be multiplied that's it let's save and you can see the output over here cool let's make this bold guys okay so just add font weight bold done so guys let's see in next video how to place the order by taking all the basic information from our checkout and place an order with this order items so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please continue next video where we'll be seeing to how to place the order thank you once again